The vineyard was planted in 2000. Our first vintage was 2003. 2015 will be our 13th vintage, I believe. We're working with four varietals, but we're making one wine from the estate. The estate is small, it's only five acres, but we have four Bordeaux varieties planted. So we have Cabernet Sauvignon, Cabernet Franc, Merlot, and Petit Bordeaux. It's a very interesting property because it has many different soil types on it. This is an early vineyard, so we are harvesting probably one of the first vineyards in St. Helena to be harvesting, I would think, with our Merlot. Sometimes we'll just want to pick a very small amount of grapes and bring it in and make the wine from that in a certain day. And when you're cooking in someone else's kitchen, it's hard sometimes to say, hey, we're showing up with one ton of fruit that we absolutely want to pick today. Can we do that? Having our own facility is just simple. I treat this like a kitchen. I mean, the raw ingredients come in. What you want is to really just make sure that ends up on the plate in the best condition possible. The caves were literally carved out of the hill. You want the wine to be around 60 degrees Fahrenheit or a little less, and you want the humidity to be just right. So once you get in a cave, you pretty much have those conditions. We're able to really manage every single detail of the winemaking and the grape growing now. We have warm temperatures here, so the wines are very generous. They're soft tannins, they're rich wines. And if you taste the wines we've made over the past 12, 13 years, I think you really start to see that thread running through the wines. We do have a second wine called the Mad Hatter, where we're purchasing grapes from some of our neighbors, and we're making that wine here as well. Yeah, that's our goal every year, is to try to improve on what we did the year before. I'm Andy Erickson, and I'm the winemaker here at Dancing Hairs Vineyard.